Her Majesty's portrait has traditionally been updated about every 15 years. Um, it's actually been 17 years since the last change was made, and as Her Majesty's reign enters a new era, we thought it was appropriate that we also update the portrait at this time. The work of selecting and refining the design is the responsibility of the Royal Mint Advisory Committee. So when we're looking at uh, commissioning a new portrait of the Queen, the Royal Mint Advisory Committee will send out invitations to uh, a number of eminent sculptors. Uh, we sent the same invitation to the Royal Mint design team. Uh, in, in each case, they were uh, submitting designs um, as sculptures, so the design committee could get a good idea of what they would look like in the final outcome as coins. Another important aspect of the whole decision-making process is that they're submitted anonymously. And in looking at uh, the design second time round, they pretty well unanimously went for the portrait by Jodie Clark. For the first time since the reign of Edward VII, a new coinage portrait has been designed by a member of the Royal Mint's team of engravers and designers. Jodie Clark, aged just 33, had studied illustration at the University of Central Lancashire, experience that he was then able to put to good use in coin design when he joined the Royal Mint. Everyone that entered the competition was given the same reference images of the Queen. So there's some profile images and three-quarter images of each side, um, and we worked from there. Um, something that helped me was I was able to go online, which I don't think designers of the other effigies were able to do that. I always start with doing some thumbnail sketches, so lots and lots of thumbnails, small little layout sketches, pick the best one and work that up into a more detailed sketch, which I used to sculpt on the computer with. I don't think she's aged that much, the Queen, um, since the previous portrait. Uh, so I focus on changing the regalia that she wears, so I changed the crown, which is the state diadem crown which she wore to her coronation, uh, and also her earrings are different, so some key differences when you look at the coin. There's been a change in how um, royalty is perceived now. Historically, on old coins, the portrait on the coinage would define people's view of what the king or queen would look like. Now we're saturated with images of um, somebody who's probably one of the most photographed people in the world, um, but also we've got to consider that the designs that we're going to produce are going to appear on a whole range of coin sizes, anything from 8 millimetres up to 100 millimetres. So it has to be strong in all of those um, different applications. In essence, the process of making coins hasn't really changed that much in a thousand years. It's still a lot of craftsmanship and skill that goes into it. But we can now support that with new technology, which allows us to become more efficient, more accurate, and probably at this stage, make better coins than we've ever made before. I really like all the effigies that have been done of the Queen so far. Um, hopefully, this mine stands on its own, but I did want it to work as a set as well. Her image is almost a symbol, really. So it's just capturing that symbol of the Queen rather than the person. It's an amazing feeling to have designed the fifth portrait. Um, to know that it's going to be on millions of coins and possibly come in contact with most of the population. It's, a, it's an amazing feeling for a designer.